good morning everyone i am welcome you all to this uh, 12th day of csr online uh, training good morning all please confirm uh, uh, whether uh, my slides are visible to you it's uh, clear is it clear please let me know and uh, one more thing is uh, am i audible thank you so much thank you so much for your response uh, now i am enter into the topic today is uh, our uh, last day of the method of biology topic in this method of biology we discuss genetic genetic uh, techniques uh, immunology techniques and uh, the radio physics related techniques in last day we discussed today we are going to discuss about the uh statistical methods microscopic techniques and electrophysical methods and methods in extra uh, some kind of experiments there in the biological experiment that means uh, the population study plant related studies there okay uh, that are we are uh, going to discuss in this uh, today class that first one is the statistical analysis right statistical analysis is fully depends on the data 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 it can be the uh, mathematical data it can be the signal it can be the uh, population anything but the data is in form of count this count data analysis uh, having summarized by two different way that is the central tendency tendency uh, tendency and a measure of the dispersion what is the central and how it dispersed through to all the uh, the through all the experiments in this uh, it's a this two topics are very important in the our uh, research on laboratory research and uh, if you if you have, uh, conduct any experiment in laboratory scale and uh, uh, the industry scale we want to maintain we want to calculate this uh, do this data analysis in the tendency uh, in the tenden uh, central tendency we can calculate mean and median many of them uh, uh, may studied in uh, the at aptitude uh, session in the uh, same way same uh, experiments are carried out in the data analysis so uh, here in the central density we have we want to we can calculate two the two techniques are mean and median another depression uh, another one this dispersion dispersion in this dispersion we can calculate the variance standard deviation and the interquartile at range that is the range in, in between the range we can calculate how it is dispersed here uh, first we we can uh, 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 we uh, easily measurable compounds are mean median mode uh, what is the meaning of the mean it is the arithmetic average um, uh, in upcoming slide i will explain with one example another uh, another thing is the median in the median Uh, va middle value, the middle value of the set of ordered data. Order data means they provide a uh, shuffled data. We want to arrange it in order, in ascending order. Then we want to calculate the median. And then mode. Mode is the number of data set that occur most frequently. Uh, if in in your experimental data, you may get uh, repeated value. Uh, for example 6 and 8 uh, having similar output means that is the mode value okay 
uh, the mean is the most repeatedly ca calculated thing so I mentioned mean alone in this slide uh, sorry I'm going with the uh, statistical uh, uh, in uh, theoretical format because uh, they are asking the question like uh, how to calculate how to find the average so only mention this uh, I have a plan to discuss the questions uh, questions alone in the upcoming sessions uh, after this 30th day uh, that there is no theory only questions alone so that period uh, uh, I have a plan to discuss these kind of uh, uh, examples by bi biological ex examples now uh, for understanding ju uh, just I'm going to explain the theoretical part of the statistics that uh, this is a typical average value we want to take the all the sample values and divided by the number of uh, numbers this portion is the how it is spread through head or one character how it is spread through the group of the uh, population that measure is the dispersion how it is dispersed in this dispersion we have the uh, four different like uh, range variation standard deviation and coefficients of the variation in this uh, uh, why uh, how why we want to calculate this means in the sample variation in the sap in the sample group of sample if you are taken uh, 500 ml 500 ml of sample another 500 uh, 500 ml uh, solution with uh, particular concentration of uh, chemical sodium hyd sodium hydroxide something another solution having the uh, 1 liter uh, that have the same uh, concentration so in that uh, that point the small quantity having the larger concentration another part is larger quantity having the same concentration that particular concentration here the peak value is vary right uh, please understand how a dispersion explain in the small population the small quantity 500 ml having the uh, 5 m, uh, 500 ml having the uh, 5 gram of sodium hydroxide is one case 100 ml having the the 5 gram of sodium hydroxide that's another case here the concentration is similar but the population is that uh, quantity is a uh, high the dispersion is a uh, uh, that sodium hydroxide having the higher dispersion rate It uh, helps to uh, the most repeatedly asked question is the range related question. So I am here I mentioned here the range and range coefficients. Range is uh, L minus S. Coefficient of range is L minus S divided by L plus S. That is less L means the largest value. Uh, uh, S means smallest value. Using this we can calculate the whole things. Here uh, it's a pictorial representation whatever data you have you can uh, it's you can develop it as a, a graph every experiment is uh, called as the uh, it's a uh, it's a formed as the graph uh, you, in a, uh, if you are doing a carbohydrate estimation test you you want to draw the uh, draw the graph all each and every experiment you need to draw the graph based on the graph value we uh, uh, from the graph value we can calculate the uh, mid mode 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 and median mean value is the um, average value here uh, this this whole uh, the whole graph having the various points we are added and divided by the the numbers so that uh, mean value it's bit, uh, it's a uh, it's the uh, below average or average then median is or uh, the midpoint of the ordered molecules the mode then mode it's for the negative speak uh, here here the one question they uh, asked uh, how means if there is a ne negative is negatively skewed curve negatively uh, skewed skewed means that negative part is no uh, here starting is uh, we have we are we are we are getting the smooth curve this kind of uh, uh, this kind of curves having the uh, mean modium mo median mode value in the 
uh, it, it's uh, near to the zero that is near to the origin and but positive skewed curve is the mode is mode median mean uh, mean these three values are are uh, more than the uh, center value more than the peak value here the question um, this kind of questions are asked there another point of view uh, the pre, the uh, value of mean for negatively skewed curve the value of mean is less than the mode for uh, positively skewed curve uh, the mean value of mean value is larger than the mode value uh, please understand here two types of questions are there uh, i am experienced with this question so only i am uh, i am telling this they ask you two kind of questions one is uh, the mode median mode ra uh, mean range of negative skewed curve if they ask like this we want to they have provided the options so the answer uh, is related it's near to origin and uh, it's uh, lowest value of the peak this kind of because the peak value is the here we are obtained lowest value of the peak value for positively skewed curve we are mean uh, the mode mean medium value is the uh, larger value than the peak value this kind of one, this is one kind of question another kind of kind of question is uh, for negatively skewed curve the mean value is, is less than the mode value positively skewed curve the mean value is larger than the it's a higher higher here the x value is high right the mode value it's an uh, experimental uh, uh, output how to evaluate the there these are there here then distribution uh, we are all uh, discuss uh, we are all uh, this uh, uh, if you are did did uh, by btech btech means you, you studied in first year uh, second year uh, many of them may studied in the uh, your college days this uh, characters characteristics characteristics of continuous problem distribution is the whole term is called as the distribution right uh, the values are distributed in the throughout the curve in that specifically we need to understand continuous probability distribution this uh, uh, continuous random variable x will assume the value between the two possible values here uh, the range is a and b uh, why i am continuously say this means this here we studied the dispersion using this dispersion value we can calculate the this distribution value in this con in this in this particular range a and b is the range in between the range we can calculate the area under the curve this area under the curve explain the uh, the distribution value here continuous uh, in this continuous probability distribution we have four different type uniform distribution so it's used throughout in the range between a and b exponential distribution exponential means one at at particular point we get the higher value the normal distribution it having the exponential at one point, one point it automatically comes down triangle distribution it having different one distribution we, we get a, a normal smooth curve that is the normal distribution these are the continuous probabilities of the di distributions why i am uh, okay it's uh, how it's related to the r life science uh, if you are doing any experiment uh, if you are uh, uh, if for a, for a carbohydrate estimation test you did uh, uh, same concentration with the four, your that con continuously repeating the same experiment you have taken on experiment carbohydrate estimation test for a particular concentration rapidly all those values are uh, in the particular temperature if you carry out means you want to get the same value in the between timing timing for uh, you, you want to get the similar values that you if you get the similar values means that is the uniform distribution 
இப்போ இந்த பர்டிகுலர் இப்போ ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஃபார் என்சைம் ஆக்டிவிட்டி கேல்குலேஷன் தட் என்சைம்ஸ் ஷோன்ஸ் ஹையர் ஆக்டிவிட்டி அட் பர்டிகுலர் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப்டர் தட் இட் கெம் இட் கம்ஸ் ரெடியூஸ் ஸோ தேட் இஸ் த எக்ஸ்போனன்ஷியல் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் லைக் வைஸ் வி கேன் கேல்குலேட் இன் நார்மல் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் அண்ட் ட்ரையாங்கல் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் லைஃப் சயின்ஸ் எக்ஸ்பிரிமெண்ட் தட் இஸ் கண்டினியூஸ் ஹியர் திஸ் இஸ் அ நார்மல் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் இந்த நார்மல் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் வி கெட் த வெல் ஷேப்டு கர்வ் அண்ட் சிமெண்ட்ரிக்கல் வேல்யூ ஹியர் தஸ் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் ஆல் திங்ஸ் ஆர் எக்ஸ்பிளைன்ட் வித் தி மெயின் மீடியன் மோர் வேல்யூஸ் த ஒன் திங் வி வாண்ட் டு ரிமெம்பர் திஸ் திஸ் சிம்ப சிம்பிள்ஸ் ஆர் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் பிகாஸ் தே ஆர் ஆஸ்கடு த கொஷின்ஸ் வித் திஸ் சிம்பிள்ஸ் அலோன் ஓகே இந்த சம் இட் செல்ஃப் தே ப்ரொவைடட் திஸ் சிக்மா வேல்யூ ஆஃப் த திஸ் பாப்புலேஷன் தேட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் தே செட் த த வே த கொஷின் இஸ் இன் தேட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் வே அலோன் தே ப்ரொவைடட் தி சம்டைம்ஸ் தே மென்ஷன்ட் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் டிவியேஷன் அதர்வைஸ் தே மென்ஷன்ட் தி த சிக்மா வேல்யூ இன் நியூ வேல்யூ தட் வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் இன் த கொஷின் Okay, next thing is the random variables has an in- infinitive theoretical range. It may be uh, plus infinity to minus infinity value. The binomial distribution. Here, next is the binomial. Normal, then binomial distribution. In this binomial distribution, we can calculate. Here, we have the four uh, equations alone. These two equations are very, very important. It's a Poisson distribution and so the binomial distribution. They ask the questions with the... that uh, point of view alone the uh, point of value binomial distribution uh, the p x equal to n x this is the format uh, p x and q of n minus x uh, using this value we can calculate the n uh, n uh, the n factorial n minus x factorial p x the q power n minus x Uh, the, uh, the what is the n means number of trials they did the number of trials they mentioned here another thing is uh, uh, the number of uh, uh, success desires x means success desires p is the probability of getting the success in one trial they are mentioned okay they got the success in this trial they, that things are they are mentioned in the question the q value is we want to find out they provided only the p value we want to calculate the p q value 1 minus p is the probability of getting the failure otherwise they mention in the question they got this much of failure from that that uh, that we want to take it as a q uh, from that q value we can calculate the p value that is the uh, q minus 1 q no uh, p equal to 1 minus q is a p value is the possibilities one thing is uh, number of the trials number of trials they provided is a n fact n factorial n value the number of the success desires x is equal to number of success desires uh, yeah, how much the success they, are, they achieved another is a probability of getting the success in their own trial probability of success uh, probability of getting success in one trial the another thing is 1 minus p the probability of the getting of how uh, these are all the input values using this input values we can calculate the binomial distribution then shown in this poisson distribution is a very simple one x value they provided in the sum itself other uh, we want to calculate the lambda value This value is the mean number of the occurrence in the particular interval. We, we, want to mean, we want to find out the mean value. E value is the Euler's constant. constant the Euler's constant is the 2.7. One is constant value. We want to substitute this E value. This is the very important equation in the uh, biological method experiment. P equal to the lambda power x e power minus lambda by x factorial. is a for binomial distribution the sum itself they ask whether it is a binomial distribution or a by uh, or a poisson distribution for if they are asked the binomial distribution we want to substitute this equation uh, substitute the values in this equation and uh, solve the question if there is a poisson want to solve this type of questions 
Next is the sample distribution. Uh, what is the sample distribution? The sample distribution is, is a uh, one particular population. We can calculate the sample size, and we can calculate the different characters. Uh, it's a n value, uh, like the same value, mean, medium, mode, everything we want to calculate. Here, for previously we discussed mu, right? That mean value, that kind of things are for the normal distributions and uh, uh, that is the distribution of va uh, that uh, tendency values but here so for sample distribution that is uh, it's differ from the sample distribution this kind of things are calculated based on the mean values this are calculated based on uh, the the values number of counts here this uh, sample distribution we want to follow the different equations therefore the mu means mu x is equal to mu uh, variance is uh, sigma square by n standard deviation is uh, sigma by root of n n is the uh, distribution uh, the shape of the it's very dip uh, uh, the n value is uh, very the shape of distributions become normal okay this uh, base applying this uh, parameters finding this finding out this uh, compounds by using this uh, this equation that is the output of the sample distributions we have uh, it's very tedious because all the sums are explained with the theories now uh, i actually it's if you are if you are taken on all that sum itself taken a uh, half an hour so only i am skip that uh, definitely i will uh, provide the uh, sum to your uh, your google class and, uh, and and also i will have a se separate sections for question and answer discussion that section i will explain all the sums another one is the uh, parametric and non non parametric values in this distribution we having the parametric and non parametric uh, distributions here uh, why i am mentioned in this uh, specifically mentioned this table means here the, we can uh, explain this with the image okay if you are taken one sample in that sample we can calculate the n number of outputs that output values are because want to be uh, developed from that is the, that are all the develop that is developed from the uh, parameters that may be the height weight population everything then another thing is uh, our, uh, here the results with a significant very very significant output but uh, the in the non parametric if uh, not uh, if not set based on the parameters that is not acceptable and uh, it uh, is parametric values having the highly statistical power uh, or then the, uh, this non parametric don't have the statistical power okay what is the parametric and non parametric parametric means uh, in if you are doing the uh, carbide estimation test in that we want to follow the parameters parameters are the uh, are enzyme, enzyme temperature uh, reaction time that are all the things are the parametric parameters are the temperature uh, the time and concentration of enzyme concentration of substrate these are all the things are the parametric parameters of the experiment these are uh, these parameters want to be changeable for the whole experiment we can cal we can change the substrate concentration we can change the enzyme concentration we can change the temperature we can change the reaction time these are all the things that can be changeable this changeable uh, and uh, that, that are called as the parameters for the experiment here uh, we another one important uh, thing is the confident level this confident level is a range okay uh, if you can uh, if you are conducted exa uh, one experiment with a thousand of people get the output for all the thousand and arrange it in a uh, ordered arrange it in a order 
in that uh, some of the values are negligible values that is are not uh, it's a uh, somewhat deviated from the highest value uh, uh, if you are on uh, get uh, if you get a better result for one patient that patient's having a, a higher value means that uh, or, uh, another patient that some uh, some kind of peoples are not shown any response that un the response less responsive results less responsive patients are uh, not under the confident level this confident level is a range of value is used to estimate the truth value sometimes that uh, non responsive people is uh, not properly taken the drug so they are uh, lost their uh, activity <coughs> so the here the definition is a uh, it's a range of interval values to estimate the true value of the population another one is uh, this confidence level is called as the cn uh, the note important note is the it's expressed as the probability of area 1 minus alpha here the alpha is a complement of confidence level alpha is a confident confident means as uh, a complement complement means it's an uh it's maybe it, 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 it here one one just for example you take it as a curve right here the curve in this curve at the, the top point the confidence level it may be the below 5 percentage or 10 percentage or a uh, one percentage i'm explaining this image here this is the end center point the uh, 5 percentage deviation is here here the another 5 percentage plus or minus 5 percentage plus or minus 10 percentage it is the confident level from the graph center point it's a, it it's a, imagine this is the curve it's a center point it's a confident level in this confident from this confident level we we can adjust the values between the confident from this confident level we we can adjust the values between the 5 percentage 10 percentage deviation the lowest confident level it is not a uh, uh, more than 2 uh this particular percentage 5 percentage 100 percentage 1 percentage deviation very very important thing is that uh we confident level is the lowest value of the upper uh, it's in a to upper limit we are not taken all the values so we are taken the uh la, that uh, that uh, nearer value of the complement values or uh, that a uh, highly expressed values okay if uh, any experiment we we are do we can we have the possibilities of doing the error uh, somewhat whether is there may be uh, error in the handling that may be the error in the statistical analysis that may be error in that kind of errors are there so the, here they mention the uh, error yeah, the, the source of errors in this error value error uh, calculation that may be the uh, variation in the length let may be the uh, variation in the amount uh, quantity measurement that may be the type of material variation uh, that error happen in the light temperature age health male female any kind of that based on the name itself we we can okay this is the boy name we okay we put the female the put the male that may uh, is a error uh, that may be as a error in the clinical research the source of error is the in a life science research is a handling or uh, experimental statistical evaluation or it may be occur in the uh, value observ observation experiment and data analysis so the three major uh experimental errors in the uh, by life science here uh, how to do the experimental error values we have the different experimental error values here uh they for they here they mention uh the calculation derived derived from a uh, measured will be having the uncertainty error that is called as the, the sigma value therefore when we write a value and we should include the uncertainty 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 that is the plus or minus value 
in all of the uh, the experiment or uh, you if you are re- re- read the uh, any scientific paper they mention the plus or minus value that is the uncertainty value this is the most important in the clinical trials because uh, all the experiments are carried out with the duplicates replicates we want to consider the both all the threes because that values shown the uh, in the clinical research what does this ex- error actually mean uh, this error uh, for ex- they uh, here they were one example they provided does it mean the mass of ball is definitely between the 29.3 gram to 30 gram it's it a error no why means the point values in the gram is the because they mentioned the 29 gram is the larger value but the deviation that uh, uncertainty value is the 0.3 value 0.4 value 0.4 uh, no sorry 0.6 is the uncertainty value compared to the uh, that uh, primary value the primary value is the 29 kg and 30, 30 kg compared to the primary value the percentage of error is very less so that experiment is not error they provided they they got the 20 they want they been the 29 to 4 gram 29.4 to 30 gram is there is a no error actually happen be why because the primary value is the larger that is the 29 the 0.6 gram is the less than 1 percentage so that is not being a error and there is correlation and regression uh, rapidly you all discussed uh, discussed this uh, you are in earlier stage the relationship between the uh, that two things is a correlation and a movement to, to get, that is uh, explained with that movement together that two parameters are have following the same way and then it is explained with a single at a single point explained the single points the regression is a one variable aff- affect the others uh, it's a co- it's a correlated one the regression is a uh, it w- if you are changing the temperature uh, um, uh, in the experiment uh, in a normal experiment uh, for maintaining the concentration if you are changing the concentration the output will value is varying the concentration of substrate is increased that tem- the enzyme activity become increase it's a cause and effect value uh, it's a one way anova and it it's explained with the lines here it's a explanation image each and every points are considerable in the regression uh, and uh, the in the uh, the correlation we can, uh, sorry uh, each and every points are considered in the correlation here the regression is the explained with uh, the single line here the equations what are the uh, d- purpose you are using in the correlation means for description how uh, or c- want to ca- the correlation between the uh, description correlation is explained the d- description inferential t- statistics the linear regression is helps to prediction design the experiment the ca- using this experiment we can ca- use the linear regression values we can uh, do the black and brown method response surface methodology that all the things are the experiments happen in the life sense uh, this uh, in the correlation we can we are uh, explain the paired value in a linear regression we are uh, explaining the two or two or more co- n number of components linear regressions uh, this thing is very 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 important thing because correlation is we can explain with the two variables but linear regression we are taken the three the more than three variables okay uh, and uh, i'm just going to end up this uh, statistics in the statistics i am explain the very important things uh, what are the things means uh, first as a uh, li- or 
the con con uh, central tendency dispersion after this distribution distribution uh, sample distribution binomial distribution normal distribution poisson distribution then uh, sample distribution we can uh, calculate the sample vary sample distribution with this equation then uh, parametric and non parametric uh, distributions here uh, then uh, confident level what is confident level then we can we study what are the possible errors or uh, happen in the um, so in the labor laboratory scale then experimental what is experimental error then correlation regression now we are enter into the microscopic technique it's a very uh, interesting and uh, we are well st we are many of them are understanding the concept of uh, this uh, microscopic method because microscopic method is uh, well studied method by any li any uh, life science people uh, in all all year all uh, subject uh, if uh, zoology microbiology biochemistry uh, biotechnology everyone are studied the micro uh, this uh, microscopic techniques in their early stage okay uh, without this microscopy we are uh, life and life science is not there uh, every company people's every examination uh, if you are uh, went to any jr uh, interview they are asked first about the microscopic techniques because that is the very very basic technique we want we are all we need the ex the uh, we are all need the experience on that okay visualization of the cell it's a first thing in the microscopic technique in the light microscopy we are uh, uh, we having the bright light microscope bright field microscopy uh, it we can we can find the micro uh, cell image in dark itself but as we are not able to find the structure of uh, shape we are not able to find the each and every structure we can find the uh, the shape and uh, the external surface are through the this dark microscopy here the light field my bright field microscopy in this bright field microscopy white light is passed through the specimen it's a very very important thing light microscopy is called as a bright field microscopy here the white beam is passed through the specimen in this sample preparation we are having the different step these steps are called as the fixing step staining embedding in the plastic this are all the sample fixation sample fixation may be the heat fixation or uh, freeze thaw everything is there in the sample preparation sample preparation uh, we want to avoid the debris that uh, removal of the extra extra components we need only sample only bacteria only our cell here various type of microscopies are there in the uh, visualization of the cell uh, many of them are using the uh, if you are a botany people you are uh, studied the microscope to understand the uh, leaf structure if you are a uh, zoological people zoology people you are used the uh, cells with uh, used the microscope to understand the histopathological study if you are biotechnology people we are all understand the microbial structure under the microscope chemistry and the microscopic call here all the experiment are start with the fixation the fixation is a very very important thing if you are take on a very sensitive cell you want to view it in a live live form live form means we want to take the sample just pickle in a clear sterilized weapon that may be the spatula or the or a pick toothpick after the sample collection we need to fix the sample with the or uh, fix the sample on the slide if you want to find out the live uh, what happened in the live means no need to add anything just keep the sample on the slide and which uh, work place the cover slip over there and visualize under microscope it's a ex basic experiment otherwise if you want to understand the internal the microbe means we want to fix the sample with the ethanol and if you can uh, fix the if you yes, if you are taken the bacteria means you can fix the uh, bacteria with the uh, heat 
these things are very important in the visualization the way uh, he, there are very various types of i am explaining the uh, two uh, 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 two thing one is the term that is the advanced level <coughs> of microscopic uh, visualization another thing is a light to micro light microscope it's a very basic technique here first here first one is a term analysis okay it's a tran uh, transmission electron microscope another one is the light microscope that uh, here this is the light microscope it's a very very basic thing in the uh, experiment in this light microscopy uh, light is passed through the condenser that place that light condenser it's pass the light to the specimen the objective lens is placed under the specimen the objective spe objective lens is placed after the object uh, this objective lens uh, it's pass uh, light this image to ocular lens the order is very very important first is light source then condenser then specimen objective lens and ocular lens this is the step by step arrangement of the light microscopy in watts in the stem we have the electron gun this electron gun produce the electron this electron here this is the copper uh, uh, thing this electron membrane is pass the light between the uh, that uh, walls and uh, pass to the specimen this specimen is uh, developed the the specimen image is developed through the electromagnetic image electromagnetic field uh, produces the image that electromagnetic images are uh, produ uh, observed by the the objective lens that objective lens helps to develop the image and uh, view the bridge gives the image to the viewer uh, it's an uh, output uh, image of the light microscopy transmission electron microscopy and scanning electron microscopy here uh, the light source are there condenser specimen objective lens and eyepiece lens the eyepiece lens we can get the color image here the electron beam is passed through the condenser lens this condenser lens is uh, uh, pass the light to the specimen that specimen uh, after that we have the uh, after that we have the objective lens that objective lens uh, after the objective lens the project lens developed the image this uh, developed image is uh, visualized as a uh, this uh, flure uh, this uh, fluorescent scenes that images another thing is a scanning electron microscopy this the same electron beam is passed through the uh, condenser lens the condenser lens pass the image to the cell that coil that coil is uh, a beam conductor then after that we have the another condenser lens uh, this condenser lens uh it's producing the signal that producing the light after that we having the sample at the site at the particular portion in that sample we are uh, that uh, of that electron is passed through the specimen and uh, emit the light that emitted light is detected detected by the detector the detector is producing the uh, shape of the image the shape of the image in this sum we can unless it's the shape of the uh, shape of the any particular uh, organism or cell or uh, in the transmission electron microscopy uh, we just uh, screen the whole uh, internal internal part of the cell uh, cell all of them we can study in light micro light microscopy also we can study all the internal parts of the microbe or cell here uh, if now we are you are all understand what is the purpose of uh, light microscopy transmission electron microscopy scanning electron microscopy in the uh, in the light microscopy we we are all we can see all the ex all the uh, sample uh, all the samples and all the differentiation we can't find the internal differentiation but the resolution is uh, 
low right so only we can't find the internal internal parts but we can understand the uh, shape and activities that uh, the look or uh, that movement we can see the movement uh, that all things in the term electron microscopy we can analyze the internal part what are, if if you are doing the histopathological study means the accumulation of the ax, uh, compounds metal or uh, accumulation of the ions we can predict thinly through the transnational ultra microscopy in the sum we can find only shape that three dimensional specimen specimen in the sum we are using the two condenser lens there is no objective lens the main important thing of the sum is we are using the two condenser lens there is no objective lens okay the resolution based on the resolution they definitely ask one question in csir examination uh, it's very very important thing here uh, that resolution if a bright field means the resolution is a micro 0.2 micrometer uh, that is the 1000x uh, magnifying into 1000 times dark field the same 0.2 micron uh, micrometer in a phase contrast and uh, fluorescent microscopy also they are having the same resolution dark field bright field phase contrast and fluorescence they are all having the micrometers 0.2 micrometer that way that uh, um, is the resolution but some and term is uh, very differ differ from that in that term you can find 0.2 nanometer that is the 0 0.0002 millimeter in the term resolution is 0 0.2 nanometer some nanometer some resolution is the point uh, 20 nanometer in the term resolution is a 0 0.2 nanometer some is the point uh, 20 nanometer this is the uh, output of the and the resolutions of uh, all microscopes uh, microscopic comparison because based on this uh, they are providing many questions uh, like uh, like uh, uh, the cell having the uh, uh, the diameter of 20 nanometer how can you find out the uh, internal parts of uh, the cell that is a question if they are mentioned the internal part this kind of question we are all answer answer as a sum analysis because they mentioned the 20 nanometer right uh, that some analysis is the wrong answer because the, the output answer is the term why because they mention it's explain the internal part of the cell the cell size is the 20 nanometer we want to explain the cell uh, internal part how to define the internal parts of the uh, cell means we want to answer as a term otherwise we can't uh, uh, we just is understanding question uh, here they mention the characteristics of uh, the uh, uh, use uh, this uh, microscopes. I'm I'm going to explain the phase contrast and fluorescence micro so microscope. In the phase contrast microscope, uh, without un without staining, we can see the uh, the microbial uh, the cell structure and uh, cell uh, internal uh, uh, developments without staining we can find the cell that is the phase contrast microscope another one is the fluorescence microscope in the fluorescence microscope so that, uh, it's a uh, yesterday itself we studied right right, right okay, that is the uh, immuno immunological diagnostic diagnostic process we are using the immunological molecule is labeled with the fluorescence that fluorescent molecules is observed through the fluorescent microscope the important thing in this microscopic understanding is the term and phase contrast without staining we can analyze the uh, uh, in the microscopic uh, experiment uh, normal light microscopy we observe the uh, uh, my cells without staining that is a phase contrast microscope it's very important thing in the dark field microscope we are having the dark field in the outer surface so that uh, unstained the microorganism is helps to uh, visualize and between uh, through the light in the dark field is uh, uh, un unstained organism is observed through the dark background the usual examination of the uh, the spiro sheets this is a very important thing
okay it's a uh, their microscopy of cell it's a very very important thing uh, the rapidly asked question in the uh, csr examination like uh, how how means if um, they are starting with the atom the atom having 10 power minus 10 meter uh, that is the point 0.1 nanometer so atoms are not viewable by tem analysis atoms cannot be visualized by the tem analysis because that resolution of tem is 0.2 nanometer that is the more than the atom level so uh, we are don't having the option uh, we are not uh, visualize the atoms in the tem we are visualizing the internal parts cell surface that kind of things in the tem then 1 nanometer 1 nanometer is visualized by the tem analysis that is the glucose concept glucose molecule uh, 1 nanometer dna it's having the another 1 nanometer so visualize we can visualize the dna under the uh, tem analysis virus that is 10 power minus 8 uh, bacteria we are having 10 power minus 6 blood cells are 10 power minus 5 meters hair we can visualize the hair this uh, this electron microscopy is helps to visualize blood bacteria virus dna glucose and at glucose and at um, atom is not possible so only they are mentioning at the last stage uh, the uh, visualization of atoms that group of atoms can be viewable that the single atom is not visualizable then light microscopy in light microscopy we can visualize the bacteria blood cells and hair uh, normal vis visible eye is the finger so we can't see the cells in our body we can see the fingers in our body that is the thing with the visualization it's the only thing uh, then for every experiment we need the fixation experiment fixation experiment previously i am explained the that sample preparation in this uh, for uh, every uh, this is very very important they are providing this as to match the following okay uh, here fix a for fixation that uh, paraffin paraffin we, we all know that paraffin is a uh, polymeric extend ex extendable polymer that thin slice is fixed on the alcohol containing the uh, that carnai and formal alcohol formal alcohol the alcohol is helps to fix the cells all the experiment many of the microscopical experiment alcohol is helps to fix the uh, microbe then in, in, for the enzyme histohemistry studies we we want we can add the cold formal calcium for enzyme histohemistry experiments we can add the cold formal calcium then another te for term analysis the is a very important one the osmium tetroxide glutaraldehyde these two uh, things are added for the uh, fixation of uh, term samples then uh, the for electron microscopy sem analysis two percentage glutarol gels is added to the sample then for immunofluorescence uh, we we no need to fix the cell but we we want to add the fluorescence the fixation every fixation is very important heat we are uh, doing the heat fixation for the mic microbe the another thing is uh, paraffin session uh, and fixation that is help add addition of the formal alcohol for insta enzyme histopath histochemistry we need to add the formal cold formal cold formal calcium for tem analysis we need to add the osmium tetroxide and glutaraldehyde for electron microscopy we need to add the two percentage of glutaraldehyde in the for immunofluorescence we need to add the uh, cryostats cryo cryostats it's a it's short explanation for conventional method is a heat fixation dehydration dehydration means removal of water with the uh, heat or uh, the freeze thawing then embed embed the plastic placing the plastic over there uh, that is the uh, that uh, cover slip uh, placing method the section cut the uh, microbe then staining sessions the another one is the cryo immuno immunization In the cryo immunization itself we can freeze substitutions embed the plastic and session and strain sessions another one is the cryo sectioning cryo sectioning in this cryo sensoring uh, it's a uh, blench freeze that is the used for the less than 5 micrometer 0.5 micrometer sample 
for high pressure uh, freeze is used for the uh, larger molecule that is a 300 micrometer molecule very very important thing high pressure uh, freeze method is used to uh, 300 micrometer sample plus plunge uh, freeze is helps to point uh, less than 0 0.05 micrometer samples this these are the techniques for the a SEM and TEM analysis, these te techniques here, the conventional techniques are also there. Uh, these are all the output of the microscopes. The fluorescence microscopes are produced these this kind of images blue, red, and blue, blue, red, green is the most rapidly uh, output of the, uh, the fluorescence image. The phase contrast microscopy is. Uh, here, this uh, they are the sample is labeled with the fluorescence molecule, so it uh, looks like this. Okay, in the fixation technique uh, for a sample preparation, we are all having the freeze fractured technique. It's a very, very important and rapidly used technique in the uh, laboratory scale. Freeze fracture, prepare, uh, freeze, fra freeze fracture technique. Uh, in this technique, the vi uh, used to visualize the distribution of proteins in the membrane. For understanding the proteins in the membrane, <coughs> We want to use the freeze fracture technique. Okay, here this is uh, the in this technique. First thing is using the knife to over opening the uh, plasma. Then extracellular layer is divided open. Using this uh, the uh, uh, using after this we are going to see this like image in the Tamansam. Uh, this is the step, uh, step surface view of microscopy transmembrane proteins are we can be visualized through the this freeze fracture technique these are all the step based of technique first quick freezing process that happen after the quick freezing the fraction eating the uh, cell that may be uh, happened by the uh, continuous chopping or uh, that uh, fractionating method then the itching that is the um, uh, overlay that uh, um, applying the sample sample over there take the replica formation that uh, you'd like uh, or, uh, or a clay model preparation okay this is a step process in the fridge then after every experiments we need to we need the image processing image processing using this uh, bacterial image we can count the population the population count that is the image processing and um, the thing is uh, in uh, the main thing is in uh, 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 sample prep uh, that uh, microscopic analysis the TEM analysis uh, we want to understand the image through the electron uh, lights, electron beams. Uh, SEM itself, we can identify the 3D image through the image processing. Image processing is a very important thing and st a step in the uh, uh, by life science. Here, if we, the color intensity explains the density of the particular molecule, the concentration of particular molecule. <coughs> then. We are entering into the electron physiology. We are, we are, I am having few more slides. Uh, please be wait within uh, 10 minutes. I am going to finish. This is the signal single electron recording. Now in this electro electrophysiological method, we are going to discuss all about the the nerve system nerve system experiments. Uh, this uh, every we are discussed primarily genetically. Uh, genetical experiment, molecular experiments, and then immunological experiment. Here, the full experiments are explaining the neuron-based experiments. This neuron-based experiments are uh, getting the signal of every neuron. The single neuron recording. Every neuron is having the each property. Uh, that each properties are uh, explained with these signals. The more uh, recent work in the recording is a. Uh, uh, activities in the men, uh, the medial temporal lobes. The medial temporal lobe activity is find out through the experiment, single neuron experiment. This is the latest experiment. Uh, if this is helps to this uh, the single neuron recording is helps to understand the uh, neuronal system 
uh, for uh, the uh, human human brain or any animal brain why we want to do this for understanding the uh, if you are doing any brain related work we want to understand the signals in the brain that uh, that point of point, point of view we want to understand single neuron recording in the single neuron recording uh, they are taken uh, taken and uh, taken the point the uh, sensors over the neuron that neurons are producing the image or uh, that neurons are activated by the signal that uh, uh, that happen in a different way one is activation of the neuron another one is the receiving of the neuron in this image they are placing the needles over the neurons this neurons producing the uh, recordings that is uh, one that we are providing the in input to one uh, one tip and getting the output from the another uh, s point uh, this is the we it is a uh, it's an uh, available technique it's a ra it's a most widely used techniques in the uh, criminals uh, criminals uh, forensic science here they are providing the method the patch cl clamp method patch clamp method means in this method they are inject the needle to the our uh, nerve system here in this method they are inject the needle but it's a patch system in using this patch system uh, this patch system is placed over the our uh, our uh, our head that uh, that uh, that patch system receiving the signal from the neurons the received signals are um, are uh, de uh, it's a developed that uh, e the received signals are expressed from the uh, patterns express express as a patterns this patterns are explained with its in, uh, whether it is a signal for uh, activation or a deactivation the patch clamp te technique is helps to uh, receiving this directly receiving the signals from our neurons this neurons uh, signals are taken it as a uh, that uh, patterns this patterns are explain uh, whether it is the normal signal or it is the abnormal signal it's a overall image of the signal uh, signal passing between the patches and the neuronal system the neuron cells are ha producing the uh, ions that xx plus i is this is the these are all the ions the this ions are playing a vital role in uh, uh in the uh, placing a vital role in the cytoplasmic signal recognition this uh, signals are uh, received this ions are ions are producing the charge that charges are uh, received as a signal in the uh, the patches that patches are producing the pattern the count uh, the amount of uh, ions we can draw the pattern another one thing is the uh, ecg method we are all know cardiac signaling the using using this cardiac signal various part they give the input value these are all the input values uh, re receiving the signal from various part this signals is uh, enter into the circuit that is uh, forming the image if this is a cardiac rhythmic image we are all know here in this we have the questions so what is the p wave what is the uh, r wave s wave q wave it's a very important thing uh, uh, uh just please listen one time one minute here the first one is the p wave p wave is the starting wave of uh, it's represent the atrial depolarization it's a most repeatedly asked question uh, what is p wave what is s wave that's complex i am just explain this image uh, what is p wave means it's represent atrial depolarization atrial depolarization qrx complex it's represent ventricular depolarization qrs complex it's explain ventricular depolarization another is the t wave t t value t wave it's represent the ventricular repolarization repolarization uh, uh, first is the depolarization Re second one is the repolarization that is the t wave at the second point second rhythm 
we are obtaining the q value first down wave of the qrx complex first downward wave of the qrx compound that is the q value q q wave then r wave it's a initial position of po positive inflection initial positive inflection s value that is a negative deflection that is negative deflection r value is the positive deflection s value is the negative deflection uh, it's a very very important thing is the order u qrx complex t value then q value r value then only we obtain the s value uh, the order is very important p wave q complex t wave q wave r s the order is very very important and this image based questions they are asked rapidly so only i am take this uh, time uh, p value is rep represent rtl depolarization p is rtl depolarization q q complex is ventrial de depolarization t t value is the ventrial re repolarization repolarization mention very very important thing is the repolarization r e uh, then another is a q wave it's an uh, first uh, our downwards waves of the qrx complex r wave is a initial positive deflection s is negative deflection okay recording of the brain i am not uh, going in depth in the recording of the brain in the recording of the brain is the electro en uh, encephalo electro encephalograph you in this they are placing the patches over the uh, brain that head that giving uh, the signals from uh, the receiving the signals from the brain this uh, signals are uh, uh recorded by the uh, signals are recorded by the laptop or system that signals are processed that waves are processed as a uh, whether it is uh, normal the application of uh, the brain recording is a uh, very important thing here uh, they are having the application first one is the multi electrode array this is the uh, M uh, here uh, this is the multi card uh, electrode array uh, it's placed over the one particular uh, neuronal uh, neuronal place that receiving the signals uh, you can record the cell recording you can do the single cell recording or uh, this multi electrode array the another things are the uh, the e code system uh, that is a g means graph eco means uh, that is on think of the electron uh, signal here eeg we discuss electron and like uh, and cephalo encephalo then a fluorescent calcium image how much of calcium is deposited over the brain this is a thing is very important for uh, brain related study many of the seen this many of the reports fluorescent calcium image another is the mri mri is a uh, uh, well known uh, technique in the uh, normal medical field uh this all all kind of experiments we are did the mrna it's an one uh, different method is a modulation is so uh, it's a uh, uh, it's a image of the brain in this image we can observe all the part of the um, brain it's a primary prime tumor it's a it's, it's image this is the small um, uh small small this is small small uh, accumulation of uh, calcium so over there this is observed as a metastatic lesion then internal bleeding if there is a internal bleeding happen means this image looks like the tumor is looks like this image the lesions look like this image this is the this is image capturing uh, intra chronical bleeding is happen in the brain means it look like this uh, these are all the uh intra chronical mass lesion uh, explain why they are explaining this means this lesion is the most widely happened this is if you are having the tension hypertension it happens in your brain these things are uh, very very important in the uh, neuronal system that are observed by the uh, this 
electro that instruments here apart from that uh, we can uh, calculate the biodiversity uh, this is the another biological method i am two more slides please wait please sorry uh, in this uh, biodiversity we can calculate the population once uh, i'm going going with this uh, microbes if you having this uh, like if you having the high correct amount of light and uh, or rainy happen in the nature we are all receiving a good number of the plants and animals if the plant and animals are in a correct amount uh, the human population is in the correct correct density if the human population is in correct density uh, that uh, that the uh, microbial system is maintained as a low so it's not not this uh, microbes and humans is not directly relative so only it's mentioned as a red color this kind of population count densities are are the density calculation is a very important topic in the csr examination i am going to explain with the uh, not i am now i am not going to explain with the experiment that after that uh, this 30th day uh, 30th day i'm uh, i'm going i have a plan to start the question and answer section all out that section i am going to explain the this uh, biodiversity related as sums how what is the habit characterization for if the if you are taken a plant you can uh, explain the plant height root uh, depth of the red rock that these are all the characters these are all the characters ha habit characters shape index if uh, the hab habit characters is a very very important in thing in the uh, by experiments biological experiments if you are providing the nutrition to plant that height is very without nutrition that uh, height is very less with the nutrition its height is very high this are all the like, habit characterization another thing is the uh, observation method what are the observation method you can observe as the uh, image height uh, color uh, the how many times it occurs these are all the things are observational methods another is the remote sensing uh, it's in in this pandemic period this remote sensing it looks uh, uh, it's playing a uh, vital role because in agri in agriculture in agriculture they are providing uh, image based uh, uh, observation because uh, that in uh, the if they having the large uh, uh, field means that field is uh, this field uh, that field are having the plant that plant uh, some plants uh, are observing the water in fast manner some plants are not observing if you are uh, uh, if you are uh, 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 pour the water to the whole field that observe uh, plants are uh, taken a more water and it uh, get infection uh, so that is makes a loss to avoiding that we are doing the remote sensing uh, that using this remote sense we can identifying the uh, for which place we need a water just water in that particular place alone that is a very uh, uh, sensitive method uh, it uh, happens with the satellite imaging process uh, we can find out the where that is the, in using this satellite sensing sensing we can count the animals uh okay the uh, like uh, how much how many uh, uh, elephants are there in uh, world means the animal uh, that uh, uh, particularly uh, uh, elephants bones are having the signals that signals are stored in the satellites the satellites are uh, searching the sig give the count it's this signals this much amount of uh, animals are there uh, it's uh, in the particular portion uh, how to calculate the uh, hill stations how, how how much amount of uh, uh, trees are in the uh, world how much amount of water source are in the world how the uh, how the depth of uh, ice uh, cubes of in ice in arctic and antarctic these are all things are remote sensing process using the satellite and passing the signal we can calculate the uh, image uh, using the image and uh, uh, signal transmissions we can find the uh, density and population character everything 
here uh, in this uh, uh, this uh, remote sensing happen using aerial aerial part we can photograph it through the photography and the remote sensing gis and so gis is a very important thing in the it's a usual term in the uh, in modern world it's an uh, using this we can find where where is the water source in uh, under the earth itself under 300 feet 400 feet where we can find where is the water it's uh, like uh, kathi kathi movie uh, that kind of things is a remote sensing process uh, we can find using the satellite signal we can find where is the source of water that's the aerial related surface related only is that then subs, uh, subsurface means is a test trialing a uh, geographic uh, geo physical loggings this is for the methods in the uh, uh, remote sensing that's image image processing in biological thank you everyone thank you so much for your patience uh, tomorrow we are start we will start the fresh sections in the upcoming um, sessions if you have any questions please to post it in uh, uh, chat box i'll send the answer Okay thank you everyone now i'm going to end this section now thank you for your patience